Hey guys, Tim here from Canada Tech TV. So this is the next video in the projector tips and tricks playlist. So I figured I'd make this playlist because I've been reviewing projectors for over the past four years now on Amazon and over here on YouTube. So I thought I would let you know a few tricks and tips and some quick videos here that might help you out. So today I'm gonna go over with you Keystone and what that is and kind of what that looks like and what models you're gonna see that on in a projector. So Keystone correction essentially is when you are fixing a picture up on the wall that is not set up evenly. So there's both vertical and horizontal keystone correction. So vertical keystone correction kind of fixes the top and the bottom of the image. It kind of turns it this direction. Horizontal keystone correction does the opposite. It kind of tilts more side to side. So when your picture isn't completely flush and like say your setup isn't straight ahead at the wall, what that leads to is it's gonna kind of mess up the picture a little bit and you're gonna have you know, a misshapen image. It's not gonna be a perfect rectangle up on the wall. So you're gonna use that vertical and horizontal keystone correction to help fix that. So what that actually looks like in a projector is in the budget range, a lot of the times what you're gonna get is vertical keystone correction, and a lot of the time it is manual. So that means that next to the focus wheel, you're gonna have a wheel there that you can also kind of rotate and it's gonna do vertical keystone correction, usually up to about 15 degrees. Some of the other ones, as you pay a little bit more and start kind of going up in the price, like I know the Vankyo V630, for example, has a 45 degree keystone correction. And definitely when you get into more of the upper models, you get into, you know, $500, 600, 700, that range typically has more of electronic keystone correction where you don't actually have to scroll a wheel. And lastly, quality. A lot of the budget end projectors in your 200 and less range, you're gonna have some blurring and maybe some artifacting kind of around the edge of the screen if you're using that keystone correction. So the manual keystone correction in my experience isn't the best, so I always tell people if you can get by without it and you can set up your projector better and maybe have it you know, more straight or more level with your picture, that's gonna give you a better picture overall if you don't really have to touch that. When you do get into the electronic keystone correction and when you get into more of that mid-tier projector range, you definitely will have better quality there. You're not gonna have any of that blurring and stuff around the edges. There is kind of my overview of what the keystone correction does and what it is if you would like more information and you know more projector content like this definitely hit that subscribe button i have a whole playlist on these projector tips and tricks and then i have plenty of other reviews on my channel here so thank you guys for watching with me here today and i'll see you on the next one